All right, guys, in a 2019 Dodge Ram 1500, it's the classic version, so it's the same as like the 2009 to 2018. Got aftermarket wheels on here, so now the truck is complaining for tire pressure sensors, but I'm gonna show you how you can actually disable and remove that whole system rather than just tweak it or, or cover it up with a piece of tape. So stay tuned. All right, so first thing we'll do is we'll open up uh, the Alpha ODB app. So interface is not connected, so we'll connect with uh, Bluetooth here and to our device. All right, so we're connected, the key is on in the vehicle, and our light is staring at us, so. All right, first thing we want to do, Dodge Ram for us. We are the 1500, the DT body style. We're going to connect to the body controller, body computer. And so the body computer for this particular truck would be the 2019 PowerNet. If you do happen to connect to the wrong one, it won't let you to connect. So we'll give it a shot and see if I was right. And we are connected, so that was the right choice. Now we'll go down here to the little hood open. Select a procedure to start. And we are looking for So we're looking for a car configuration change all the way at the bottom. So select an option. So in the options here, vehicle config three are two we're gonna look at. So there's base system present and premium. So we wanna make sure that base is set to, set to no. Start, current status was a no, no change necessary. So then we'll take a look at Premium, which is I'm pretty sure what this one will be set to. Set it to a no. Start current was a yes, so we do want to set that one to a no. Give it a few seconds here and it'll update. All right, so it's updated to a no, and then we will go. And we want vehicle config five right here. This guy, he should also be set to a no already, so we don't have to worry about that one. And then we want to find vehicle config seven. Configuration, we want to be uh, the one. Start, current status is that. All right, so everything's good to go on this side of things. Now that that's done, we'll back out. We can uh, back out of this guy too. Oops. So instead of going to the body computer now, we want to go to the radio frequency hub and the unit will be the radio frequency hub. Connect. All right. So now in here, what we want to do is reset the hub. Now, if you already have your pin from your dealer, great. If not, I'll show you how to get the pin from Alpha ODB directly and then you can just use it in the next step. So come here, open up the hood icon, select a procedure to start, and we want, so this is the one we will be using, but we're looking for a read pin. So a read pin, it'll read the pin from memory, click start, boom, there's my pin. So for this particular vehicle, 7074 is the pin that I want. 
Now, if we go back into here and we're gonna do an RF hub reset and our pin Seven zero seven four, and then we'll go. So we're there. Let's hit start now on the procedure. So what this is doing now is it's pulling the new values that I set for the TPMS sensors. Essentially, that we're disabling them, and it's syncing it up with the RF hub. So as soon as that part is done, we should be able to go, and our warnings and stuff will be gone. So it says procedure complete down there, so we should be all good. Let's uh, power off the vehicle, power it back up. We'll see how it goes. Let's do one final test here to see if the light's actually off now. Cycle through the menu here. Yeah, the tire pressure warning is gone. There's no yellow tire symbol. And the tire pressure sensor menu is also removed. So we're good to go. Thanks for watching. Bye.